to make our steak sandwich, we're going to use some soy sauce. I wonder if anybody recognizes this brand of soy sauce. I'm going to use four tablespoons, which is really a fourth of a cup. And I'm going to use two tablespoons of olive oil. oregano, about a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of chili powder. I happen to be using ancho chili powder. I love that flavor of it. And here's a little bit of cilantro. And here's some green onion tops. This is um, some rosemary out of the outside that I'm growing. I need some garlic. Um, go ahead and just put it through the press. Do three cloves of garlic. I'll get that off of there. A little bit of mustard, about a teaspoon. There, it's about that. Mix this up. Have that mixed up. I'm going to add the flank steak. It's about 1.75 pounds. And can you see that? It looks stringy. It looks like almost like strings are going this way. So when when it's done. And when we, when we get done with it, we're going to slice it this way. Make those strings real short. But anyway, let's get this kind of covered in the juice here, the marinade. I'm going to let this marinate for two hours. It's marinated for an hour and a half in the fridge half hour out here at room temperature. I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper on there. And I'm going to put just a little salt on one side. Even though there's soy sauce in there. Just a little bit. We're going to go out to the grill. I have my grill set as high as it will go. I'm going to add the plank steak. Cover it up. Okay, we're going to take this inside and let it rest. I have three avocados here, and you just want to kind of chop these up a little bit, like that, and put your avocados into a bowl. I'm going to add lime juice as soon as possible. I already had that ready, and I already had the. Uh, other ingredients ready too. All chopped up. That is three. Uh, some spring onions and then some jalapeno. I'll show you how I chop that up. Whenever I work with jalapenos or a spicy chili, I slice them in. I take the top off and I slice them in half. Then I slice the halves into quarters and I take that part out. And I do that to all four sides and I slice it into strips and then take the, line those strips up and slice it as small as I can so I don't get like a huge bite. You know, you just want little tiny bites. And some um, cilantro that is just chopped up very coarsely. Mix this up. Get that lime juice over everything. It has good flavor and helps a lot to prevent this avocado from turning an ugly, ugly brown. We also need some salt on there. A couple of pinches of salt in there. 
Next we're going to take our bread. I'm using this kind of like roll, like this. They're also called deli rolls and I have two of them here that are open. I'm going to take some refried beans. Of course homemade would be better but uh, store bought's fine. Just put like a tablespoon on each one. that. Maybe a little more on this one. And my uh, flank steak is cooling off. I'm going to put some cheese on here. The cheese I'm using is this. Authentic Mexican. Well, I, w I don't know about that, but that's what I'm using. And I think another cheese that would be good would be mozzarella, would be excellent. I think uh, Munster cheese would be good. Because, you know, I always enjoyed that TV show. And so anyway, this goes into my 350 degree oven to kind of melt and warm up. Here's my bread. I um, took the tops out at 7 minutes and these were in about 8 minutes. Because I just didn't want these to get like real hard or anything. So I'm going to set these aside. Here's our plank steak. I'm going to slice this just as thin as you can get it. been resting for about 10 minutes maybe 8 minutes just slice this that way the thinner you get it the more you can really pile it up so take your warm bread with the beans and the cheese on there just put your flank steak on top Again, the thinner you slice it, the more tender it will be and the more you can pile up on top. Take some of the guacamole, add that on top. And you can also um, take your steak and when you slice it, taste it and make sure it's salty enough you need to you know just sprinkle a little bit of salt on there and we'll give this a try I know it's good I've made this several times mmm I hope you like this recipe. I do. Thanks so much for watching.